It's a hot, humid Monday morning in Mombasa. Sumeya Juma is studying for classes in electrical engineering. She's in her final year of a three-year diploma. She was encouraged to go into this field by her father, who also works in engineering. When I was back at home, I used to do like several stuff and like with the electronics part. Like I want to know why this one comes this way. Why is this color? Why is like the antenna, the, rem the remote, how does it interface with the machines? And I was like, I really wanted to do, to, and to know what that was. Sumeya is the face of the future in Kenya. Not only is she female, she's attending a technical and vocational school, or TVET, an option that's only slowly being seen as viable. Within Kenya's context, it's, um, there's of course a stigma. We've um, gravitated towards university education. The objective is to see that we create viable options where young people can, can be trained and um, still then embark on uh, a, a profession of their choice, or alternatively find a second chance into the national academic system. Kenya is a country of 51 million people and is working to become, in its words, an industrializing middle-income country by 2030. Kenya hopes to improve its labor force, particularly among young people, by moving to skills-based training within TVET institutions to better align the education system with the needs of industry. What do you hope to learn from today? This is where the Kenya Education for Employment program, known as KEFEP, fits in. KEFEP is a $20.6 million initiative funded by Global Affairs Canada and implemented by Colleges and Institutes Canada in cooperation with the Kenyan government's Ministry of Education. The KEFEP program will, uh, in, a, in and of itself, create um, training for about 1,200 young people in, in Kenya. Uh, but there's, this al there's also the multiplier effect because um, the, the training is being provided for curriculum developers, for academics, for people in the technical colleges who will um, create programming that's really going to ripple throughout, uh, um, throughout, the, uh, uh, throughout the economy for years to come. KEFEP is working to reform TVET education by moving away from lecture-based classrooms towards hands-on practical learning. This is known as competency-based learning, or CBET. TVET, it is very good because it is just, uh, you, you learn the skills of your hands. You use just your hands and the knowledge. Not much of paperwork, it is much of uh, doing. Over a five-year period, faculty and staff from several Canadian colleges and institutes are sharing their skills and expertise with their peers in Kenya, both here and in Canada. Together, they are working to involve industry, build leadership and management, develop essential skills, implement environmental sustainability, and build gender equality. It's teaching us how to walk. So, and we are about there. So once we have this program going on, then KFEP stands for Education for Employment. Then we expect to have many students leaving an institution like this one to be self-employed or get uh, meaningful employment with particular skills. So we, we will not, uh, as a, a trainer, tr KFEP has opened our eyes to be able to develop curricula that will enable students to survive beyond the KFEP program. For Sumeya, the changes to TIVA education in Kenya come too late. She graduates this year, but she's hopeful for the future of her peers. Maybe I should try coming back instead again. <laughs>